Hey guys, good to see you again. Thanks, Dre, for joining us also. Yeah, that was a really hey, good hey. interview with, with Chi Chi. What, what, what stood out to you guys? Like, what are your thoughts? Um, I think the bit that stood out to me the most, and it was at the beginning, was about, um, he was talking about prevention. Um, I remember, like, so last week we were talking about like, what can Christians bring to the table that's different, but actually, I think we also have to realize that, like, things just happen to people, and um, whilst we can live, like, healthy lives, and we can, like, you know, have different lifestyle choices that help us, I think, like, ultimately, there's a lot of things that happen to us which we can't really control, and it's, you know, he really emphasized the point that there's, um, it's no one's fault, the fact that you're, you know, that you may be dealing with something or struggling with something, that's always really important to remember i guess um uh yeah, yeah I, think, I think that's really reassuring and, and it just like especially um knowing like when you are going through like rough patches it's just nice yeah. to know that you know it's it's a human thing yeah definitely definitely no i think mental health is such a tricky one for like within faith because like your mental health is so linked up with your spiritual health mm -hmm. um and so i found it really reassuring actually that he spoke about um like against the whole prayer away type rhetoric um because i found that really difficult in the past when you're genuinely really struggling with something and people make that link between the mental and spiritual and so mm -hmm. they're like yeah just pray it away like yeah. your relationship is with god is mm -hmm. the one that's missing and like it can actually be quite hard to hear when you're genuinely struggling. Mm. So yeah, yeah I mean, really yeah, useful. I was, yeah, I was gonna say like it, it reminds me of like other points in life where like people struggle. It's like, yeah, you know, like a Christian wouldn't just say pray it away in mm -hmm. I guess other areas of life where you're struggling, but it does seem to be something which yeah, I guess it's more, it's like yeah. there's parallels to like physical health. Like if mm. um, someone's um, got uh, an, an illness, you don't, we don't, we try not to over spiritualize them. Um, immediately point fingers at saying oh like you clearly done something wrong in your life in your spiritual yeah. life but then like yeah. why do we treat mental health differently to that I think yeah that's a really important point to mm. to make that's true it's true yeah so true like i actually what stood up to me was when he talked about like a culture of openness Mm. and yeah like I, it's interesting how he talks about it like i guess in relative like to the church and everything yeah do you feel like we have that within our church or students what are you guys thoughts on it i'm not sure that there's like an openness as such like i think like we were just talking about um i think the church is quite quick to link the mental to the spiritual um and almost dismiss it um which kind of defeats the point of having this open conversation about it um yeah i'm not sure i'm not convinced yeah. what do you guys think well i um I, I there seems to be something like specifically about our generation i i've just been reminded of like a meme i saw yesterday was like <laughs> i've just i've just like i've just written like a suicidal note to my friend and then put mm. ha ha lol at the end so they know so they don't take it too seriously yeah and actually i think like in the church we can sometimes like have that perspective on actually like people's mental health as well where uh, we just sort of go like ha ha lol at the end and it's like oh everything just okay and we kind of brush over so maybe yeah. like there's that first i think maybe we've opened up to maybe the idea of mental health but maybe not perhaps mm. dealing with it in a way that's actually like super healthy um, and helpful to people um, yeah I, I i definitely agree i think um i don't think there's a stigma about talking about um, these things um, and I think generally people are happy to help if um, someone who is struggling reaches out, but it's that um, taking initiative of like actually um, asking people about and checking up on people and how they're doing and kind of in your case, like looking for those kind of warning signs where people are trivializing what their, prob like their problems that they're going through, but actually they are like kind of signposts to maybe something that is going on. Um, and it is important that we kind of see that. Yeah. That's so yeah. true. Like, I, I, do, I guess I'm not necessarily in the church in this context, but like, I, I think in culture today, like, especially like yeah. in our generation, like there's definitely like, I'm not sure how to put it, but like, even on things like TikTok, I don't know if you guys have saw that, like, that TikTok video of like someone like 
having like their, a blanket over them like they're like going me coming out of my depression hole and like running yeah. to the kitchen to get food yeah. and running back so it's like it's open but then there's this other like undertone of like ha 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 lol kind of thing what you were yeah. saying Jim. so yeah. it's like really interesting yeah i definitely think it's not just limited to the church i think that is definitely mm. our generation and mm. <laughs> yeah it's like as soon as it's not funny or as soon in the church's case as soon mm. as it's not spiritual it just gets dismissed mm. yeah so mm. yeah it's a strange one yeah actually that, think, that is actually a good point yeah yeah i think related to that point um like i think sometimes our culture does almost like romanticize mental health and like or like sensationalize it and kind of it becomes um like I don't, maybe this is like, like a bit too far but like sometimes it becomes people's personalities like, i don't know what do you guys mm. do you guys have any so, thoughts on that and like i think on the internet that's such a big thing like you yeah. see it like seep into like people's like youtube personalities or yeah. like even on like platforms like tumblr as well like there's mm. like i think especially on things like things like tumblr like there can be like a whole like hashtags and like a whole culture mm. built mm. and that people feel very comfortable in mm. yeah. so. do you think it's healthy or well I oh sorry you go tired <laughs> well um I think like there's something like it it's a it's a bigger jump but I, I remember reading about how when people are dealing with like being raped and they're in mm. they're in um therapy a lot of what they talk about is uh not defining themselves as a victim yeah and that's not to um that's not to undermine the wrong that's been done to them or in any way uh like suppress actually the evil that mm. they've experienced in their life but it's actually to not find their identity in something mm. which is like a, a, an evil action towards them and i think i mean that, that takes it to a whole nother level you were saying today but actually there yeah. are it can be on like lower levels too where we um where we hold on to some things which sort of give us a black of belonging belonging mm. and like yeah. meaning and I guess like last week we were talking about actually, well, this is where like being a Christian really comes in to help where yeah. like the world doesn't really offer much else apart from perhaps these things which are, you know, going really wrong in your life for you to hold on to as your identity, um, which as Christians, we know, which is in Christ, which is obviously amazing. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah. Yeah, that's so true, actually, about um, making one positive thing your identity, mm -hmm. um, which is what we have as Christians. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I never made that link before between, like, you can let go of the identity of your mental illness or whatever you're mm -hmm. struggling with. Um, yeah. And, like, God just steps in and takes that identity mm -hmm. for you. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Definitely. That's so, so true. I was actually, I've been watching, like, a TV show lately, but, um, like this person has like their identity onto like one thing that they're struggling with so much and they even end up like self-sabotaging themselves because they're so scared of like letting go of who they actually are without mm -hmm. their identity yeah and i think maybe like i guess the danger of romanticizing it or like culture romanticizing it or making it like hearted is that you never actually deal with <laughs> like the <coughs> sorry the like undertones or like mm. what's actually the problem so yeah. like it actually ends up like festering and becoming something greater and yeah yeah, I guess, yeah. yeah. yeah definitely 